Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video comparing the mean deviation to the standard deviation using Microsoft Excel. To demonstrate the difference between these two measures of dispersion, I'll be using fictitious data. I have a variable here in this worksheet named depression, and it contains 15 scores. When we think of measures of dispersion, typically the standard deviation is one of the first statistics that comes to mind. And it's thought of as the average distance between the scores and the mean. However, technically, the average distance between the scores and the mean is the mean deviation. The standard deviation is actually higher than the mean deviation because the process of calculating the standard deviation involves squaring the differences between the mean and the observations. So to demonstrate this, I'll first calculate the mean of this sample. And that's fairly straightforward. It's going to be equal sign average. And then I'm going to select the data. So we can see the mean of these values is 50. So to calculate the mean deviation, I'm going to start here in cell B2. Start with equal sign and then ABS for absolute value. I'm going to take the observation and subtract the mean. Now when I select the cell F2, I'm going to use the function for key to make this an absolute reference. So it's absolute value cell A2 minus dollar sign F dollar sign 2. An absolute reference to cell F2. So we can see for the first record, the distance between the observation and the mean is 1. And as I autofill this function down, you can see even the values that would have been negative, like 49 minus 50, because we're using an absolute value, it returns 1. So here we have the absolute values of all the differences between the scores and the mean. So to calculate the mean deviation, I'm going to take the average of those distances. So equal sign average, and then I'll select cells B2 through B16. So we can see that the mean deviation is 2.8. The average amount that the scores deviate from the mean is 2.8. The standard deviation is calculated a bit differently. And before I demonstrate this calculation, I want to point out that you have in Excel functions that will calculate the standard deviation. You have stdev.p for the population standard deviation and stdev.s for the sample standard deviation. In this example, I'll be calculating the population standard deviation even though this of course would be considered a sample and normally we would use the sample standard deviation. So first I'm going to calculate the differences between the observations and the mean except this time I'm not going to use the absolute value function. So it'll be equal sign cell A2 minus the mean and again I'm going to use function 4 to make that an absolute reference. And then I'm going to autofill that down. And you can see here that I do have negative numbers. Then I'm going to take the square of all these values in this next column in column D. So it'll be equal sign cell C2 shift 6 for the caret symbol then 2 and then I'm going to autofill that down. If I take the average of these squared differences, that'll give me the population variance. So I'll do that here. So it'll be equal sign, average, and then these values in COM D. So the variance for this variable is 12.4. 
the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So to calculate that, it'll be equal sign SQRT and then the variance, square root of the variance. So the standard deviation for these values, for this variable, is 3.52, larger than the mean deviation of 2.8. So just to demonstrate here, I'll use the built-in function stdev.p, select the original scores, and you can see same value. And I could also calculate the sample standard deviation here, and this will be larger than the population standard deviation calculation. In this case, the sample standard deviation, 3.64. So why is the standard deviation higher? Well, because of this process of squaring the differences, each unit of distance is made exponentially greater. And the process of taking the square root doesn't completely compensate for this. So this standard deviation statistic is more greatly affected by extreme distances. So in this case, the distance of 5 and the distance of 7, which when squared convert to 25 and 49. So when using the standard deviation as compared to the mean deviation, be aware how these greater distances between the observed scores and the mean have a greater effect on the standard deviation than they do on the mean deviation. I hope you found this comparison of the mean deviation and the standard deviation to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.